Good morning, David. Um, I'm going to show you how to make like a half tone pattern. Uh, let's do a selection. This is the beam V skin, and let's like you want to do a diagonal, whatever, a fallope, a, a gradient, it's called in English. You make a selection, uh, you drop white in here, you can fill with white, but I use control backspace and then it will fill with a background color I flip this one over uh, copy this one edit transform a uh, flip horizontal Fop. so now you get a bit of the equal cars sides uh, this is white and on transparent layer you see so you're now gonna blur it it doesn't have to be precise as you see, it's it's get blurred anyway. So now you have a blur. And I think this blur is pretty okay, but you just have to like uh, you need a bit of uh, a bit of space for the half tone pattern to live, and it will only like show uh, if it's like in between, like if it's black, if it's white, it's white, and the ways where the here here comes black, so it only will show here in this little space. So you can make it a bit bigger if you want more half tone to see. Plus, pr click OK. Uh, you make a new layer, and with that new layer you fill with black. I mostly time this, and I got a black layer. This can be off. So this is actually your your mask. What it's going to be? Then I press. Um, then I do. This is the easiest way. Merge down. Now it's all. It's one layer, and this is the basis. You go filter. Pixelate, color half tone, and now you can pick a radius, and that's the amount of pixels. And I think 60 maybe it's okay. It depends a bit on the resolution of your image. This is 4000 4K pixel. So, and now you get this, this uh, half tone pattern. And as you see, the colors you see now is because of your you have different channels. You have the red channel, you have a green channel, and you have a blue channel. Like I said, the blue channel uses a 90 degree angle, uh, which can be nice. And most of the time, I, I I just want it not to be straight. But let's take the blue one now. So you're now in the blue channel. You press Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy. And if you now click on RGB, all channels are back in place. Um, and we make a channel here, and we do Ctrl V. Now what you've got is an alpha channel. If you press Ctrl and you click the channel, it will select only the white stuff, which is quite handy. You can do that with everything, and grayscale works as well. And then it's just like uh, it's it's like degradable from zero to hundred percent. But for now, this is perfect. We make a new layer, a new layer while this selection is still active. And if you press this little icon here at the bottom. You make a layer mask. What it does is it puts the alpha channel as a mask in, at your layer. And that's just it's so easy to use use this if you want if you get the hang of it. This this channel we delete because we don't need it anymore and we don't want to save it as a DXT5 file because it's using more space. So I'll put the car on. Whatever I paint in this layer, we just select the layer itself. Um, like we pick a color pick green you pick a brush a bigger brush and you call a lot and you see you got your pattern you can also just fill the entire thing with all backspace I use is this fill with the foreground color and now if you do it at 100% you got a perfect half tone pattern over your car of course, you are, you have to play a bit with on the on the hooda. You can like put here green in, but the nice thing about a channel is uh, now we got rid of the alpha mask. But if you want a new one with the same contest, you click Ctrl click this one again, and you see it's all selected. And you can always press this and fill with white, and then you got your uh, alpha channel back. If you want to need it, you can just like throw it away after you're done with everything. But the good thing about a mask is that if you want this to be like here will be the the top of the car so maybe it's it's nice to have it like more green here so you can also like 
click in the mask thing and then you can paint just with like black and gray like if you paint black in it it will remove it if you paint white in it it adds stuff so if you like want to hear here is the top of the car so if you want the top of the car just green make sure that it's like green here I see we this is not like the really top of the car but you got you get the point so now the you only need to uh, do the same with the with the, the actual top plate of the car which is here but now the sides are, have the half top plate. but the nice thing with the, with this mask is that if you uh, add something like here you can also remove something again but you never touch the actual picture or in this case it's just a color which is not but it could be also like a picture so if you want to make a a logo and you want to make it freestanding you can also just put the picture in a layer click the, click this button I can sh maybe I can show you what I mean um, I think I got something here like for example this is a logo not the best example because the logo is already uh, freestanding but like if you have it in a layer I have to get used the the sca proportional scaling is by de on by default these days. Uh, this is a layer now. Let's let this a uh, rasterized layer. So and you want to get rid of like something of or the the G sticks out too much. I don't care. And you don't have selection now. And we click this, then it will be a totally white uh, mask. But like if you now paint white black again in this mask you can like put stuff away or uh, like make make some some adjustments but you're n not actually touching the logo like if you shift click this it disables the mask temporarily and you can see like the picture is still there it's just a mask that covers it up so you're much more freely to like uh, to like correct stuff in the end so that's mostly how I work um, Especially if you have like some strange stuff and you you're not sure of things Like if you are using a mask you can always like return it or go back to it or and you can also like this is now um, This mask if you move this mask, there's a little chain here So if you move the layer you move the, the entire mask and the layer You can see if I drop it here, then it did this, this gets transparent If we remove this then they, these and these move separately. So now I move only the mask and not uh, not the layer. So if you are like, you have to correct it a bit, you can just like move the mask. And it also you can do like effects on this layer. If you do a motion blur here, like you want to have a bit of motion in the, and now you've got all stripes. So so you can really play with it. And even like if I, if I would, if I have this chain, this may be more clear. But if I let's put a color overlay so you see it more, the effects. I mean, like if this, now there is a chain in between. So if I do a motion blur, uh, both will blur. Like you blur the image, the actual image gets blurred, but also the the other stuff. That's so, sometimes you don't want that. You want the image to, to stay where what it is. So you remove this, and if if you blur that, then then only the the mask is blurred so everything which under is under the mask the mask is actually a, like a moral layer it has to do with like the old days they like they when they made a newspaper they taped with red tape they taped uh, stuff away and that's exactly what this does that's also why if I go this and I click the eye you see like a red mask that's a bit from the history they because like when they uh, developed film Everything which with, which was taped in red look bl look black for the camera, so that's why they use the red as example color here as well. But it's very interesting to play with, and like you see, like you see the half tone pattern itself is just not that much work. But it's really interesting to see how those uh, masks work. I hope you uh, learned something, and I hope you get uh, the BMW in, uh, ready in time, of course. <laughs>